Hey, what's going on tech fans? Welcome back once again to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out something really cool from the people over at Corsair. This is their Scimitar Pro. Now they have their version, but you know what? I've got mine. Now if you're a person out there, you play mobile games, you play MMOs, this is the type of mouse that you want. Why? Well, because a lot of those games out there require that you do these multiple button things to like throw a spell or do those different things. Well, with this mouse, you no longer have to do that because you can program everything into this mouse, take it with you wherever you go and play your heart's content with all the buttons you need to cast those nasty spells and kill the enemies. With that said though, let's jump in real quick and let's check out the Scimitar Pro and what this bad boy is all about. The Scimitar Pro actually comes in two different colors. There's a yellow one, which absolutely looks badass, and then there's the black version, which we're checking out today. Now, like I said, the absolute best feature in my book about the Scimitar Pro is the fact that you can program all 17 buttons through the Q software. Now, when you first buy the mouse, it comes pre-programmed with a bunch of buttons so you can get up and going, but if you wanna customize this thing to your exact specifications, just hop into the Q software and you can program it to anything you want. No longer will you have to hit three keys to do a spell, two keys to hit a spell, heck no. Now you can just hit one single key and be up and killing your enemies in game. Now some of the buttons are really cool. There's 12 of them located on the left hand side, but the really cool feature about the Scimitar Pro and the buttons that are located on the left hand side is that the module can be moved to the front or to the back depending on where your hand feels the most comfortable. That makes it a very ergonomic mouse all around. Looking at the top of the mouse, you can see there are a few buttons right in the center. Now the scroll mouse, it's click and roll, but down below that, you get buttons for adjusting your DPI and you also get three different profiles that are programmed into the mouse. And you can change this to your own specification as well so that no matter what game you're playing, you just hit your profile and you're ready to rock. And because the Scimitar Pro has built-in memory, even if you unplug the mouse and take it on the go, it will remember everything that you've programmed in it so you can game wherever you are. You also get the normal two click buttons right and left on top of the mouse. And then on the right hand side, there's a nice little resting place for your finger, which is made out of soft rubber. Another really nice feature about the Scimitar Pro is the way that it actually detects your mouse pad and sets the sensor level to exactly what you want it to be. That means that no matter what mouse pad you're using, you set the Scimitar Pro down, you use the software, you spin it around in a little circle, and when you do this, your mouse is automatically set to the perfect sensor reading for the mouse pad you're using. I like that, because let's just face it, there are a ton of mouse pads out there, and having it do that pretty much on the fly for you is pretty excellent stuff. The DPI settings on the Scimitar Pro can go all the way from one all the way up to 16K. So regardless of what you're doing, whether you're gaming, whether you're playing on the internet, you can set that sensor in minute levels all the way to suit your perfect need. The Scimitar Pro also features four zone RGB. And what this means is you can custom set the colors to different places on your mouse to anything that you want. And what's even cooler is the buttons themselves on the left hand side light up. So this thing not only plays games, it also looks pretty damn cool too. The Scimitar Pro weighs 147 grams. So if you like a little bit of a heavier mouse, I think you'll be very happy with the weight on this one. Now features and all those things, they're great. But when you're playing a game, you want the mouse that you're using to be very comfortable and ergonomic so that you're not getting an ache in your hand or getting what I call game fatigue after playing for hours on end. The Scimitar Pro is very well made. It feels nice in your hand. I have a medium sized hand and it fits on my hand just perfect. I think if someone has very, very large hands, this might not be the perfect fit, but if you have smaller hands or medium sized hands, the Scimitar Pro is gonna feel really nice. The button can configuration on the left hand side is really, really important to those gamers out there who want to get the kill shot or they just want to be able to make sure that they can activate their spell or whatever they're doing automatically and not hit the wrong button. The Scimitar Pro is very easy to use in that respect. All the buttons, like I said earlier, are located right down below your thumb and they can be moved to the front or the back so that no matter where your hand fits on the mouse, it'll be easy for you to click on it and kill your opponent. Overall, with all the features and the comfort level, I have to say at the end of the day, the Scimitar Pro is one seriously badass mouse. And you guys know I like stuff that's badass, so take a shot. 
All right, so there you have it, the Scimitar Pro from the people over at Corsair. Like I said before, if you guys play MOBA games, you play those games that are online and require a lot of buttons and spells and all that, and you don't wanna waste your time clicking through a bunch of keys to get there, then this is the perfect thing for that. Because you can program it to whatever you want it to be, and then bam, get in there and kick ass on your enemies. Now, is it the actual best tool to bring to a battle? I don't know, because I think my scimitar can do some damage. Anyways, you guys want to check out more information about this, how much it costs, where to get one on your little hands? Hey, check out the link down below and make sure to click that like button or I'll be after you with my scimitar.